Coming up next on Good Morning El Paso, two deadly crashes in El Paso in less than one day. One possibly involving alcohol, the latest one involving a Sun Metro bus. The minimum wage has gone up in Las Cruces, but some business owners are not happy about that. Why they say it's a sign of worse things to come. And the nation says goodbye to a political icon. We take a look back at former Governor Mario Cuomo's impact on America. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. Good morning, El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. Thanks so much for waking up early with us today. I'm Hillary Florin. Stephanie is off on this Friday morning. A first alert is in effect right now for today. Let's get right to Crystal Fly to see if we're in store for any snow. We know some people are getting some already. That's right. Let's pop up radar. We are looking at chances of snow throughout the entire region today. In fact, everywhere is either under winter weather advisory or warning for the potential of some stormy weather in the form of rain, snow, and even a little farther east, some sleeting conditions. Now we have the snow. It's already picking up over parts of Deming through TRC and Silver City. And then just north of Las Cruces, we're now picking up some activity on radar. Please, if you're in that area and you do see rain or snow or that icy mix, send us a weather report, weather at KVIA.com. Now, on top of the fact that we see the snow chance today, we're also cold. Look at these wind chills. 26 Las Cruces, 22 in El Paso and 19 TRC. And like we've seen the last few days, it's not looking like we'll warm up much for the afternoon. We'll talk about how high your temperatures go and when we have the best chance of rain and snow coming up in around 10 minutes from now. All right. Thanks so much, Crystal. Lots to get to. We are just two days into the new year and already the city has seen two deadly crashes. The latest one involving a Sun Metro bus happened last night around 630. This was on the 7600 block of North Loop in the Lower Valley. Authorities tell us the bus was actually pulled over at a bus stop when a man driving an SUV slammed right into it from behind. The man was rushed to the hospital where he died. At this time, he has not been identified. Two passengers on board the bus were treated for minor injuries. The other accident happened yesterday on I-10 and Red Road right around 1.30 in the morning. Police say the 34-year-old woman, Natalie Villarreal, was exiting I-10 as she veered off the road and lost control of her car, rolling several times. Villarreal, who was wearing her seatbelt, died on the scene. The passenger, her 36-year-old husband, was rushed to the hospital with minor injuries. Police believe Villarreal was drunk at the time. Police add they've charged 15 people with DWIs over the New Year's holiday. The investigation continues this morning into a house fire that left four people and several animals homeless. It happened early yesterday morning on the 6200 block of London Bridge in northeast El Paso. We're told the four people who were inside at the time did get out safely. Firefighters rescued three dogs, a cat, and a fish. Our photographer did spot ATF agents on the scene. However, fire officials will not say what they were doing there or whether arson is suspected. Crews at one El Paso school are rushing to clean up a huge mess before students return on Monday. Hernado Middle School was flooded yesterday after some water pipes burst. A spokesman with the Socorro Independent School District says hundreds of gallons were leaked. The fire department was called in and they had to clean it up. Crews are hoping to finish before students return from Christmas break. President Obama is among those mourning the loss of former New York Governor Mario Cuomo this morning. The three-term governor left an impact far beyond New York, which his son now leads. ABC's Elizabeth Herr has a look. In the city streets, in the gutter. A devoted public servant who was never afraid to speak his mind. Either we make it, all of us together, or there is no America worth the gifts that God has given this blessed place. Mario Cuomo was a three-term governor born in Queens 82 years ago. And just hours before he died in Manhattan of heart failure, his son, current New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, paid tribute during the inauguration speech for his second term. He couldn't be here uh, physically today, my father, but my father is in this room. Uh, he's in, in the heart and mind of every person uh, who is here. As a staunch supporter of civil rights, protector of the underdog and women's right to choose, Cuomo resisted the pressure to run for president twice in 1988 and 1992. But he was never a reluctant leader in New York, respected by those who worked with and against him. 
He did it because he believed in New York and he believed in America. He had a great passion and uh, a great love for his culture. The son of Italian immigrants grew up working in his father's grocery store. He went on to law school, then launched his political career. His last public appearance no in November 2014 at the victory speech for his son's re-election, marking the last time the only father-son governors in New York history shared a stage. Elizabeth Purr, ABC News, New York. Well, if your resolution this year is to drop some weight for 2015, this morning we've got some tips that could really help you out. ABC 7's Denise Olivas is live with more on this story. Good morning. Good morning, Hillary, and I'm one of the many that has vowed to be healthier in the new year. But of course, we all know that can be a challenge. So let's take a look at some apps that you can download on your phone that'll help you shed some weight. Well, if running is how you choose to lose weight, then RunKeeper app is for you. It helps you keep track of your times, distance, and even create some goals for throughout the year. And a popular app, FitnessPal, helps you count calories and manage your intake and exactly what you're eating and just how many calories everything has. And Healthy Out is for those of us who like to dine out, but also watching the waistline. The app helps you find restaurants that are calorie conscious. That's actually one of the challenges for a man that we spoke with about losing weight. Um, I come in here and I'll work out, but uh, then I'll go home and you know eat the, eat the good stuff. So uh, I think I'm going to try to maybe um, have a little bit of a better diet. That's one of my resolutions. And I'm with him on that one. The, right, the healthier diet is always a key to losing weight. So of course we just have to be consistent, right, Hillary? <laughs> Well, that's the key, right, Denise? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for that live report. A lot of people looking to lose some weight this year. Well, this is I-10 and Joe Battle. It's looking good traffic-wise, picking up a little bit out there, but still pretty quiet. North Loop also looking good. We'll keep an eye on traffic all morning long and let you know if there are any trouble spots, but for now, looking good. As many as 14 elementary schools in EPISD could be on the chopping block this year. We'll take a look at what's next for the El Paso Independent School District coming up a little bit later. Also, the year's first winter storm is making a mess across the nation. Freezing rain is causing hundreds of crashes on ice-covered roads. And back here in the borderland, we've got some weather news of our own. We could also be in store for some icy conditions. That first alert is still in effect, right, Crystal? In effect through our Friday as we're seeing that chance of snow in the forecast. We're going to look at your future track model up after the break. Thanks, Crystal. This is ABC7, where news comes first.